Just film from the waist up. Yeah, waist up, waist up. <laughs> today, we are at the oldest Scotch whiskey distillery in the world. For today's field trip, Josh and I had dressed as geography teachers, and so we met up with our guide, Julian, who it turned out was a literal encyclopedia of whiskey knowledge. And here you have uh, some beautiful sherry big butts. Uh, big butt. Big butt. Oh, yeah. There you go. Ollie knows all about that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but right, yeah, that's, that's it. Let's go with that. <laughs> I didn't know I had a big butt. Reeling from the news that I have a big butt, but reassured by all of the whiskey facts I just received, we headed up into the bar to sample some of the good stuff. I mean, this guy I is, like my, is I like my whiskey, a but world expert. Yeah. That's not in, true in, at in, all. In whiskey. No, that's not at all. That's I not am a lonely true. whiskey peasant, but okay. he is a whiskey king. Okay. After a few drinks, the manager, Emilio, came over and offered to open up their ultra-exclusive restaurant early, just for us. We asked if we could film, and to our amazement, they agreed. So I picked up my big butt and accompanied Josh to what would be our poshest date yet. In the pandemic, you insisted on treating me oh, to okay. lots of Michelin star meals. Okay. And <laughs> context is important. And, you know, this not... you know Gabby was like, please stop. And you were like, no, no okay. I really want to treat him. <laughs> didn't happen. <laughs> wow. Oysters, <laughs> yeah. and I have some pearls of tapioca. Tapioca, tapioca pearls, pearls with the oysters. Oh it's like a bubble oyster. Goodness. Okay, that's. If we weren't in a very well respected establishment, I would not volunteer to eat that. It looks like alien food. Give that to ET, probably freaking love it. Probably. So, how do you eat oysters? I've never eaten an oyster. <laughs> you're, you're lying. I'm not lying. Just like this. Straight away. Mmm. That is. Mmm. That is divine. It's lovely. Okay. It's very, very good. The tapioca just slips straight Sorry, down. I feel I didn't like, even taste I feel like it. I'm the only sane person here. <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> no, it's just, I don't want Emilio to see me doing it wrong. Okay. This is going to be quite short. That was a big oyster. I've had this one of the biggest oysters I've ever had. <laughs> swallow it, don't you? Just, don't you just swallow it? <laughs> okay, chew a little bit. Chew a little bit and then swallow it. It's lovely. Oh, thank you so much. First time trying oysters. I can't believe it. How is it? They're lovely, absolutely lovely. I wish my wife was here. She, yeah. She's gonna be so jealous when she sees that. You all right? Yeah, no, I'm fine. <laughs> feeling any, oh, feeling anything, re any reaction coming on? <laughs> well, there's some kind of reaction. That was one of the nicest oysters I've ever had. They're worse than that. That's pretty good. Shut up. Oof, this looks amazing. Lomo, mouton, English salami. Mm. Oh, oh, wow, that's delicious. And here we have uh, lamb, mutton. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, what is mutton? I mean, what's mutton? It's sheep, sheep meat, mm. lamb. What about lamb? Mm. It's not lamb, is it? Lamb, I presume, is, is young. Mutton, is, young. is mutton old, uh, old sheep? Older, older lamb. So but what's the cutoff point? Is it like school age? I'm not a butcher. I don't know. You know about <laughs> this stuff. You tried Come oysters. On. <laughs> That's a low bar. That is a low bar. Wow, look at that. That is something else. That's a liver parfait, raspberry liver gel, parfait. Jerusalem artichoke and cocoa twill. Now the best way to enjoy this dish is yeah. to pick it up with your fingers and have yep. it all in one go. All in one? It's got its own little garden all around it. That is different textures. Un... It's so beautiful. All in one. Wow. What on earth is going on in my mouth? Ooh, wow. The flake, oh my. I oh feel like I've eaten a whole my. meadow. It's not believable. Literally, in my mind, I, I entered Willy Wonka's factory <laughs> and I did a full tour yes. before opening my eyes again. <laughs> Incredible. Never tasted anything like that. Oof. It's a different go. kind of voice. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, yes. raw cherry stone clam fermented gooseberry and purple dolls vinaigrette. My recommendation <clears throat> would be to enjoy as an oyster. Fantastic. Hey. I had my first ever oyster yeah. roughly five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally hot and sweaty. Mmm. Mmm. 
Okay. Yeah. The seafood flavor is, is strong. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's incredible, though. Yeah. Yeah. Incredibly strong. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Oh, wow. Gentlemen, we're having a tatty scone. This one's we steam them in the oven for about four minutes. That's why they rise. Okay. That gives us the option of filling them up. In this case, with a beautiful potato mayonnaise. Wow. Second difference, the garnishes that we're going to be using. So, Fantastic. Thailand Wagyu Carpaccio. Wow. We have some autumn truffle, egg yolk yam, and a little bit of our caviar. How do you suggest that we eat this, Amelia? All in one. Go All in one. one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's like a grenade. Didn't expect that. Answer. It's like a Michelin star grenade. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't want to disturb the other yeah. guests, but... <laughs> that was one of the nicest things I've ever put in my mouth. That was insane. I don't really have words. It tasted exactly how I thought it was going to taste, and that was unlike anything else I've ever had. I'm genuinely at a loss for words. Do yeah. you do those in a multi-pack? Stop! <laughs> it's not Diet Coke, Ollie. <laughs> that was one of the nicest things I've ever eaten. I feel like we should just go home. You can't dog that. Unbelievable. So the texture of it. It was kind beautiful. Of, it was kind of like. And everything on top just. <sighs> Wait, what's this? Is that just bread? Because that's the most beautiful loaf of bread I've ever seen. It is a okay. very special bread. Obviously, okay. we're inside a whiskey distillery, mm -hmm. and the main ingredient for making good quality whiskey is malted barley. So this is like whiskey bread. I mean, I've eaten bread in yeah. a lot of restaurants mm -hmm. over the years. I've never seen anything like this before. It smells incredible. It smells sweet on it the does. outside. It does. You have molasses and beer reduction on the outside. What? Molasses and beer reduction. <clears throat> wow. I mean, that's incredible. Honestly, I think that's my favorite thing that we've had so far. Classic bread lover. <laughs> Wait, why is everyone shaking their head? Oh, wow. Is that taco? <laughs> Gentlemen, the next one is raw langoustine. Wow. We have some buttermilk, which is uh, the mock taco that you mentioned. And then we have the sauce taking inspiration from South America. And we're gonna recreate the matcha green tea ceremony. Even though we are a luxury restaurant, we'll try to be very friendly with everyone. Mm -hmm. We wanna recreate the warmth and the friendliness <laughs> and the hospitality behind the matcha green tea ceremony. Second serving of your langoustine dish. We're having a langoustine biscuit. That is amazing. <laughs> this is next level. Gabby is gonna be living. Wow. Yeah. It's the best taco I've ever had. <laughs> the thing is, langoustine, I just didn't know what it would be like raw, but that's... I don't know what langoustine that is. That's like a type of lobster, isn't it? It's a type of lobster. This is like when I go to the mechanic. I mean, yeah. They're just telling me what's wrong with the car. And I'm like, sure, just do it. <laughs> that's incredible. That biscuit. Oh. How do you make biscuits out of lobster? We make it from the shells of the langoustine. Oh, that's why it has that very distinct. Wow. Make it from the, the shells. Inside. I mean, that's even more amazing than I could have imagined yeah. it would be. Wow, I like that a lot. Um, chocolate milk foil, bramble puree, and on this side we have a very own whiskey caramel sauce. Enjoy. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oof. Oof. This is giving up on words from party. Oof. Oof. Wow. This <gasps> It's just a perfect combination of textures. Really perfect. How could you improve on that? 
This is just literally one of the nicest desserts I've ever had in my life. It may be the nicest. Just unbelievably good. You look like you're about to cry. Unbelievably good. It's quite good. emotional. It's insanely good. The chocolate, the yeah. ice cream, yeah. the layers, yeah. the mille foie gras, whatever it is. Foie <laughs> gras, it's definitely not foie gras. I don't know what to say. Yeah. It's unbelievably good. I don't think we've ever been so stunned into complete speechlessness. Yeah. It's not helping that no one else is talking. Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Wow. Sweetie box. <laughs> what? It looks like a puzzle box. It's incredible. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Aerated white chocolate. Aerated caramelized white chocolate. Aerated milk chocolate. Aerated dark chocolate. We have our Sauternes wine gums made from the wine in a winery. Ten-year-old peach smoke Glentoret whiskey chocolates. Oh my! Wow! <laughs> oh my! Wow! Where do they get these boxes? From? <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie box. This is how the president carries around the sweets. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Chocolates. Aerated chocolate. Look at that. That is the fanciest aero mm. that you've <laughs> yeah. ever seen. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh my gosh. You don't even need to chew it, it just melts. It literally just melts. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. These chocolates are unreal. Mm. This was whiskey chocolate. Is it whiskey in there? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Taste it, taste it. Proper whiskey like cream inside. Yeah. And really intense, really intense. It's delicious. Oh my gosh, so intense. This one's very slimy. <laughs> oh. Oh, gummies. Look at that. So this is a wine gum made with real wine. Mm. Oh, you can taste the wine. Wow, it's quite strong. Immediately. This has been such an experience. It's going to be very hard to top that, ever. Well, that has been Michelin Madness IRL. We tried it probably because you can't. The oldest, <laughs> oldest. <laughs> okay. Maybe I just need to go lie down and process what just happened to us. Yeah. And also digest what just happened yeah. to us. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> I'll see you, John, soon. soon. The guys didn't believe yeah, us. Yeah, our crew. After we, we left, a few things for them to try. <laughs> Their immediate reaction was like, Oh my gosh, you guys were underplaying how good this is. <laughs> John's freaking out. John's freaking out. <laughs>